Good morning, class three. Welcome back to our English class. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe. So, dear children, whenever we are talking or writing, there is always a reference to time. We either talk something happening in the present, past, or future. Now, see these sentences, children. I go to school daily. This statement is in present tense. I went to school yesterday. This sentence is talk, talking about something happened in the past. I will go to school tomorrow. So here in this sentence we are talking about something is going to happen in future. Every sentence is either in present tense, past tense or future tense. And it is a verb in the sentence which shows the time and decide uh, and this verbs decide what the tense of a sentence. Okay, children, there are three types of tenses, present tense, past tense and future tense. Today we are going to start with the present tense. It has four parts and today we are going to learn about simple present tense. So let's get started. Lesson 13, simple present tense. Simple present tense is used to talk about our regular actions Things that are always true, for expressing our thoughts and feelings, for giving commentaries, reviews and much more. Let's learn with some examples. We use present tense to show a fact or something that is always true. Examples The sun is in the center of the solar system. The dog guards our house. Parrots like to eat chilies. It gets too cold in windows. Here, all these things are always true as they are facts. That is why we have used present tense here. We always mention our daily routine in present tense. I work in my office from 9 to 5. I take a bath at 8 in the morning. I have my breakfast at 9, lunch at 2 and dinner at 8. I brush my teeth twice a day. I go for swimming classes daily. He plays tennis every day. All these sentences tell us about the daily routine. So we have used present tense here. We always use present tense to express our opinions, thoughts and feelings. We should always respect others. She is a talented girl. He is an honest man. All these sentences expresses the opinion, thoughts and feelings. And so they are always expressed in present tense. Timetable and schedules are also expressed in present tense. The zoo opens daily from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. The first train for London leaves at 5.30 a.m. There is a cricket match at 6 in the evening. The Dell Mall is open from 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. Commentaries, reviews and narrations are always given in present tense. Headlines of newspapers and magazines are generally given in present tense. Instructions are always given in present tense. Now let's learn some rules for forming the present tense. It's the verb that makes the tense of the sentence. If we are making simple present tense and the noun or pronoun in the sentence is singular, then we add S or ES to the verb. Gracie likes to participate in dance competition. Here, the subject is Gracie. And the verb is likes. The subject is a singular naming word. So, we have used likes and not like. And in case of I, you and plural nouns or pronouns, we do not add S or ES with the verb. Here are some examples. Girls like to dance. Here, 
the subject or the noun in the sentence is girls which is a plural naming word so we have used like and not likes let's have a look at some more example she eats slowly here she is the subject or the one we are talking about and it is a singular pronoun so we have used eats not eat rita plays with dolls here the subject is rita and since it is a singular subject we have used plays and not play so kids we have learned that if the subject is i you or a plural noun or a pronoun we do not add s or es to the verb i like to eat ice cream here the subject of the sentence is i and according to the rule if the subject is i we do not add s or es to the verb so we have used like and not likes here you dance very well since the rule is that when the subject is you we do not add s or es to the verb so we have used dance and not dances here they always play with the football here the subject is they which is a plural pronoun so we have used play and not plays here so remember children with i you and all plural nouns and pronouns we do not add s or es to the verb okay children now let's do some exercises exercise a underline the verbs in simple present tense in the following sentences okay see the first question lion lives in a den lion lives in a den here the verb what is the verb in the sentence yes live right so lion is a singular subject that's why we added yes with the verb so here the verb is leaves okay now second sentence the washerman washes the clothes here what is the verb in the sentence yes washes why we used washes because the washerman it is a singular subject that's why we added uh, what yes with the verb now he writes a letter to his friend he singular subject so with the verb we added yes writes so this is the action word in the third sentence now next one the cat sits under the chair what is the action word in the sentence verb yes sits right we added s because the cat it is a singular subject last one tina helps the poor man verb is help right help so tina is a singular subject so we added yes with the verb so help is the verb in this sentence okay children now moving on to the next exercise exercise b tick the correct answers first question Rhea dash an apple every day. Two options are there: eats and eat. Rhea dash. What is the correct answer? Yes, you are right. Rhea eats. Why? Because Rhea is a singular subject. So with the verb, we need to add yes. Okay. Rhea eats an apple every day. Second question: They dash rudely. Talk and talks. what is the correct answer yes they is a plural pronoun so we need to we no need to add yes with the verb so they talk rudely talk is the correct answer okay third question the hen dash x lays and lay the hen singular subject so with the verb we need to add yes so correct answer is lays the hen lays x now we dash to eat ice cream 
like or likes we yes we is a plural subject so no need to add s with the verb we like to eat ice cream last one rani does very well rani is a singular subject so with the verb we need to add yes so correct answer is sings rani sings very well children now one more exercise is there in page number 41 exercise c that you have to do as a homework so children that's all for today's class we'll meet in the next class children bye